In today's video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to prospect with Go High Level and show you how easy it is to find terrible websites and then go ahead and figure out what they need in terms of marketing and pitch them specific services. So for example, we're gonna go over to Google Maps and I've gone in on the Chicago area here and just typed in plumbers at the top. And this is gonna go ahead and give you a bunch of Google My Business pages. Now, if we scroll down on the left side, we'll see some of them don't have websites and that's a perfect candidate to go ahead and click into, grab their phone number, and then give them a call. Now, if we want to find a website that doesn't really look that great and that we could improve on by pitching a new updated website that works better, we're gonna go ahead and jump into one right here that I found, Reg Plumbing. So as you can see here, there is really nothing on this page that's giving me any type of information. Now, if I scroll down, we'll see a few pictures on the right and one little section of ad copy. And that's pretty much the whole website. So as you can see, this website is very, very minimal. Not a lot going on here. Does have multiple pages, but this is this website screaming for an update. So there's a few things you can do and inside of Go High Level, there is a tool called the prospecting tool. So if you go into Go High Level, you'll be able to find and use this tool called the prospecting tool. Now it's very, very powerful and you can go ahead and put anyone's company inside of this tool that has a Google business page. And it will go ahead and scan if they have a Google business page, if they have a WordPress account, what their conversion rate is, what their ratings are, their negative ratings, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna generate you a report. Now this report is unbelievably powerful because you're able to use this report to go ahead and audit their whole company. Now, when you audit their company, you jump on a call with them, you let them know that you've generated a marketing audit report and you can walk through everything that it says on this report and go down the line. For example, on the right here, it says chat widgets on website we detected that your business or website does not have an active chat widget enabled. You might be missing out on valuable opportunities for enhanced customer engagement and immediate support. This is gonna give you talking points during the phone call that you can go ahead and key in on to pitch other services. Now, this marketing audit report also gives SEO. So as you're using this report, it's gonna go ahead and pull the SEO map and see how well it ranks on the SEO. Over here, you'll be able to see that the listings that they have, 55% of them are inaccurate. So this is something that you can go ahead and just read off of and then go ahead and speak to them and let them know that there's something wrong with their SEO. And how we actually do this is we go over to go high level and hit add a prospect. Now in here, we're just gonna paste the company we found right here and we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now it's gonna pull it up in the bottom and we're just gonna go ahead and wait for it to load a second and go ahead and hit save prospect. Now, after we get the prospect done, we're gonna go ahead and hit marketing audit report and we're gonna scroll down here and see the overall health of their business. Now, like I said earlier, there's no chat widget on this website. So that's something that you can go ahead and sell them through Go High Level for $300 a month. The benefit of a chat widget is that it helps guide anyone that's on their website to a conversion. So if they may have some questions about when they're open or getting a free quote or what kind of services that they offer, this chat widget has GPT in the back end and it can go ahead and speak to these people and give immediate support to anyone that's on your website live. Chat widgets are all the rage right now, so it's really important to go ahead and make sure that you sell this opportunity while the opportunity is still there. So as we scroll down here, you'll see review replies. It seems like you have only replied to 0% of the last 50 reviews. Research shows that 89% of customers tend to prefer local businesses that are actively engaged with their reviews. Now, if you wanna learn more on how to sell websites to local businesses and other marketing services, I've gone ahead and created a free community with a free course that goes ahead and walks you through every step of the way on how I make over 10K a month selling websites. That's another key talking point you can bring up in your meeting. Now, SEO analysis. Potential customers are searching online for the products and services that your business offers. With SEO, search engine optimization, you can boost your visibility in those search results so that people find you before your competitors. Now, as you see here, there's a seven, three, one, two. These are the rankings that this company gets in this specific area that somebody types plumbing inside of. So it's showing that you'd show in the second result here that's something to talk about if they want SEO. 
Now, as we scroll down, review summary, total reviews, review analyzed, positive reviews, negative reviews, and shows their listings as well. Now the listings look to be inaccurate for whatever reason, maybe they changed their address, maybe they changed some phone numbers, but for whatever reason, their listings are inaccurate. Now you can go ahead and sell them a service that goes and make sure that all their listings are up to date and pushed out to 500 plus websites, such as Yellow Pages and other listing sites. If we keep scrolling down, it's gonna go ahead and show their overall rating here. There are no Facebook ratings, so that's something you can talk to them about. It also gives examples of negative reviews that people have made on their Google My Business. This is something good to bring up in a meeting because you can let them know that with a little bit of Google review management that they could rank higher in the SEO on the left side of Google My Business when people are searching for plumbers. Now, obviously you don't want this meeting just to be all negative, so you want to highlight a few of their good reviews and that you're tracking their good reviews as well. These are great to go ahead and post on the website for social proof, and that's something we can get to in a later video. Now, we were talking about online listings a little bit before. In here, it shows there's no match for Merchant Circle, no match for City Search, Yazable, Tellos, Find Open, Yellow Pages City, and Insider Pages. So with one click on Go High Level, you can go ahead and have all of their current listing information pushed out to 500 plus sites. So then on here, you would no longer get a 38% inaccurate 62% listing here. That would be up at 100. Now, as we scroll down, this is your page speed. And page speed is super important because if somebody on mobile goes ahead and lands on this website, it's gonna take them 5.4 seconds to fully load that web page. Now, on desktop, it looks a little better, but the issue is with mobile. Most people are gonna be searching your company with their phone. And when it takes 5.4 seconds to load, they're gonna go ahead and click off. Now, it shows a little more in depth what specific vitals are inhibiting this. Most of the time, it's very large images that haven't been scaled down. For example, if you hit this view right here in mobile, we have a paint element here that takes 5.8 seconds. So that's the main issue on this guy's website. Now, all of these you can bring up inside of your meeting and see if they want these fixed. And in order to get these fixed, you can go ahead and head over to Fiverr and on Fiverr, just type in page load speed. And there are many, many gigs that you can jump into. Here's a WordPress gig right here for $30 where they go ahead and improve the speed. Now for anywhere from 20 to $30, you can go ahead and have that page speed increase. And then you can turn around and charge your client anywhere from 400 plus to improve their load time. Now, be sure that you're stressing the importance of why load speed is a huge issue, especially bringing up that it takes 5.4 seconds for somebody on mobile to load. When was the last time that you opened up a company and sat and stared at an empty screen for over five seconds to wait for a web page to load? Chances are not that often. So when you're done looking at this report, you can go ahead and hit export PDF in the top right, and that's gonna allow you to go ahead and download that as a PDF. Now, if you're doing any type of cold email campaigns, you can go ahead and send them these audit reports and let them know, hey, I've already gone ahead and looked at your company, and these are the issues that I've found. If you wanna hop on a free call, we can go ahead and look at more strategies to help you improve your conversion rate and get you more customers by fixing your website. Now, once the PDF is done downloading, you can go ahead and see that it has your company name at the top left. And here it's gonna say marketing audit report. As we scroll down, it's gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is in line with what we just went over. So it pretty much pulls all that data that it got from the report and then it puts it into an easy to read PowerPoint here that you can go ahead and walk your client through one by one. Now, if we scroll down, it's gonna go ahead and bring up the chat widget, the reply on reviews that we talked about, it will go over the inaccuracy of the listings. Here's a full breakdown of the reviews. If you wanna sell them review management, here's the negative reviews, here's the positive reviews, here's their website performance that we talked about, here's the core vitals of their webpage, and here's the overall issues that they need to fix per desktop and per mobile report. Now, if you wanna sell websites to local businesses and use my full strategy, go ahead and click the link below that goes to my free school community. In there, you'll find a free white label course for Go High Level and how to get started. 
I've also just released a paid version of my community where I work one-on-one -on -one with all my affiliates and students and help them get to their goals quicker. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, go ahead and click the link below and get started. I hope you got some value from today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.